Hey guys, Mike Moon here. Now I don't normally do videos about shoes because shoes, a lot of a lot of shoes are about function or fashion or running, of which I am not a big person in. However, many times a year I do go to a lot of conventions. And in a lot of these conventions, let's say let's say the CES show where over 150,000 people attend, it's gotten so huge that every day you're just constantly walking and walking and walking and walking. So I have been on a search for the most comfortable shoes that are reasonable. Reasonable to wear in a professional environment. Um, I have worn leather shoes for the most part in most of the conventions that I've been to. And let me tell you, at the end of walking 20 some thousand steps, carrying a heavy load of stuff, because especially since they don't allow you to bring rollers anymore, I looked for some alternatives. The first version that I've got was these. These were the Crocs. These are some doctor, uh, doctor, they're called doctor somethings. I, I don't remember what, but they're, they're the Crocs. They're the most comfortable shoes. If you have foot problems and stuff, this is what was recommended. So one year I decided to switch over to these and I didn't care what the heck they looked like. I just wanted to see what they were comfortable was, uh, what, what it was like to be walking around these all day long, uh, carrying a lot of stuff. And these were, I mean, that, that was the best year ever. My feet, I mean, I was tired, but my feet did not hurt at all. I experienced no foot pain, leg pain, or anything whatsoever from wearing these. So I wore these for about two years uh, straight going to CES conventions. Um, it, it looks pretty crazy like this, but when you actually are wearing, you know, pants on top of it, it's less visible, especially, uh, the darker color and, um, you know, black slacks or something like that. So they worked out okay, but you know, I still felt a little bit self-conscious about it. I'm sure some people notice, uh, that I'm wearing these, they don't question it. And, and of course you wear the, the dark socks. So these were really comfortable. They were just the right amount of foam. It's extra cushy. I mean, the, the amount of cushiness is on here is incredible. So, so fast forward several years in 2014 or 2013, I discovered these. These were recommended by my brother, whom I go to a lot of conventions with. And this, they were Skechers Go Walks. They're now in version four, but this, the reason why I'm, I'm pointing out version three is that these are now discontinued. They don't, they're no longer sold on Skechers but I've heard from some people saying that the GoWalk 3s are more functional than the GoWalk 4s, whereas the GoWalk 4s, the difference is uh, they made this part more streamlined, so it doesn't look like this. This has a more sporty look. And before I continue about these, uh, you know, I shop at Costco a lot, and I saw these for $30, which is a tremendous deal considering that I used to have to pay $50 or $60 for these. So I recommend you go check out your local Costco and try to get these as soon as possible before they sell out in your sizes because uh, these are now discontinued and they, they now have something that looks a little bit more uh, streamlined is what they call it. Maybe more fashionable, different type of fabric weave and it might sacrifice a bit of comfort for a little bit more style or a little bit more fashion. So they have, they have different uh, different ones going on right now. So these, these are really awesome. It's this stuff, these go pillars down here that are so soft and cushy that makes walking in this just basically pain free for hours at a time when you're walking around all day long in conventions or in theme parks, or just if you just know you're just gonna be walking a lot, these are extremely, extremely comfortable. Now I wouldn't take these out on a hike. I don't think they have go walk pillars in hiker you know, heavy duty hiker shoes or, or whatnot, it probably wouldn't make sense because these are somewhat light duty. Uh, but I've, you know, I carry around 20 some pounds sometimes when I'm walking around the convention floor with maybe, you know, all the literature or camera equipment that I might be going around with, or just going on photo walks. This is extremely comfortable. These are great everyday shoes that I wear. And um, my, my last one, these lasted about, I mean, these, these are about a year old. And they've made these are these are the the Skecher Go Walk threes, I believe. Same thing as well. So you can see that the wear on here just it just kind of looks like this. Um, you, you'll notice what I've noticed is that after about a year, these things go down a little bit more because you know just just from wear and from but it's the cushiness is still there. 
So still comfortable, but not as comfortable as a fresh shoe. So I would recommend buying a couple of these and just storing them up, especially at the $30 uh, price range if you can if you can find your, your shoes. So these, um, they're called the Go, Goga Pillars. I used to think they were Go Go, but it's actually Goga Pillars. And it's the Goga matte technology that you want to look for um, in the shoes. You want to beware of uh, imitations or fakes because they are out there and they're definitely not as comfortable and they don't last as long. So these, these are the ones you want. It's got a fluorescent interior in here. I believe these are antibacterial. And so I just know that these are extremely breathable. So if you got sweaty feet, uh, like I do, then um, this helps to dissipate all that extra moisture out. And so your feet are left in a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more cooler, particularly in humid environments or Southeast Asia, which I also frequent a lot. So again, these, these do wear out. So after a year or two, you'll want to replace them. You can check out a little bit of the wear over there. And, and yeah, they're, they're, they're great. They're fairly stable. Uh, because they're they're they got a nice wide stance on here. However, I probably wouldn't be running in these mostly because these are a little bit somewhat loose fitting for me, anyways. But I, I got a size 10 and I like the comfort of it, and I found size nine and a half just a little bit too small for me because I like a little bit of expansion uh, in the heat. So one other thing I've noticed is that these do come off after a while. And I suppose I could try to glue those back on, but but it, it's it, the, the comfortness. It's it's this bottom the go pillars, in addition to this comfortable mat part that really um, adds to the comfort. And uh, you know, getting trying I've tried re to get regular leather shoes and buying all those inserts, and they were often always uh, a waste of money when trying to add a little bit more comfort because what that does is you got a you got a shoe that was designed for its own internal uh internal comfort thing or in, internal whatever footbed here and it was designed for that now if you stick on another footbed and put it in there now you're adding uh maybe i don't know several millimeters of height to that then your foot now is pushing up against the top of the shoe and some shoes aren't very good at handling that um, some leather shoes are okay because you know they'll stretch after a while and and you know you can get one of those shoe tree things and stick it in there but overall I, I found that it doesn't really work out that well so you really need a shoe that was designed from from the get-go to to be comfortable and to have comfort um, because basically buying those extra foot soles or footbeds are are good only if you can replace them with something with similar thickness and I, I couldn't find anything that would be able to achieve any level close to this. Um, this or these not so fashionable Crocs. So this happened to be the best choice. And at $30, it's basically a no brainer. So go run to your local Costco or you know whatever outlets that are, are available right now and snatch these up before they sell out. Uh, the new Skechers fours are out. I haven't tried them out, but I do know um, that they, of course, still cost about fifty or sixty dollars for essentially the same thing, except that these these things down here are less visible. It's more integrated, so it looks more like a flat footbed from the side or the bottom. I find that these are kind of cool looking, so I really don't mind, and it probably gives me a little bit more traction uh, when I'm out uh, walking on the road slightly less travel rather than just regular pavement and carpeted surfaces okay so uh, this has been uh, somewhat of a longer video so far oh one other thing is don't be fooled into getting the memory foam versions. so these are the memory foam versions and also by sketchers these are also really comfortable and it, it's it's got the it, it doesn't have the goga mat it has a memory foam thing um, going on down here below and it's got cushiness over here as well and it feels to the hand to be roughly about the same thing but i have found that these are really comfortable when you're putting them on or trying them on but once you buy them and you use them for a while the cushiness actually dissipates really quickly let's see this is the dual this is called the dual light which probably has has a uh, 
I'm guessing it, it's got the memory foam inside over here and then this super light uh, weight cushy material. So this does not provide the same level of cushiness, uh, the memory foam versions uh, from the Skechers as as the go the goga mats nothing else has come close from the schedulers line as these for just general walking so if you get these you try them out you find out hey these feel just as great too they come in more different styles and they're cheaper but you will find after a while that walking around in these is not as comfortable still more comfortable than the average shoe but definitely not as comfortable as these okay all right so that's it for this video. Uh, if you got something from this and you found this to be a good video, please give it a like and subscribe if you will. And if you didn't like it, please comment down below why you didn't like it. And, you know, be honest and give me a, a dislike. And let me know how I can improve on these videos for you. Again, this is supposed to be a quick casual video. I tend to write a little bit longer about things that I care about. So um, these, these do end up a little bit longer. But um, thank you all very much for your support. I've recently reached 1,000 subscribers. So that means uh, I'm back on the YouTube Partner Program soon. So it means that I will be able to produce more videos, helpful videos, hopefully, like this, more tech videos, and sometimes life videos like this as well. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.